Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and this one is another one for all the food people on the channel. We have a full English breakfast here, and also dedicated to Adam Marzer in particular, because I know he keeps asking Silver, where is the food? Where is the food? Here is the food. So, sausage, bacon, black pudding, beans, mushrooms, hash browns, you name it. It's all here. And uh, this is also in part because one of the guys that I um, podcast with over on Infinite Ammo, Ren, the, rene the, the renegade operative, doesn't quite grasp the English breakfast. The concept eludes him. So, I figure we should um, clear that one up. Righty, gonna get some of this cut up and we'll sample. That is what we will do. Bear with me. Enjoy the breakfast experience. All right then. As you can see, I've had a preliminary attack of a few bits and pieces and um, cut a few things up. So, the big question, the big question that I think a lot of people wonder, especially Americans, why? Why the combination of so many pork products we also have Luna next to me, she's whining for my dinner, she's um, unfortunately not having it. Um, why so many pork products on one plate, you might wonder? Sausage, bacon, and what is this thing down here, you may wonder? This is black pudding. It is pig's blood. It is very much an acquired taste. I love it. Let's get in and have a bit, shall we? Hmm. Yes, indeed. You've got your classic button mushrooms here to go with your sausage. Let's um, sample a bit of the button mushrooms and also dip it in the yolk of the fried egg. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Dip it in that yolk. Very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Let's get in. Enjoy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Why is this a thing? No Brit really knows. It just kind of came to be. Or it has been. Just a staple or a breakfast choice for many. For like the last hundred years. Nobody really gets why it is a, a thing, how it particularly came to be, it just does. So yeah, a bit more of the black pudding, let's not waste it, don't waste the black pudding. Mm. If I can get it on the fork while holding a camera with one hand. Yes, yes, yes. And naturally. We'll sample some of the egg as well. The egg and some mushroom together, if I can get them both on my fork. Marvellous. That's what we need. That is what we need. Hmm. A pleasant combination. <clears throat> I'm going to work on the assumption for any of the American folks watching as well that um, the most palatable thing on this plate for you guys is probably, if not the baked beans over there in the corner, if not the beans, the hash brown. The hash brown is a staple of breakfast stuff the world over. Hmm. And naturally, folks, if you're going to have an English breakfast, you need toast. You need very, very liberally buttered toast. Let's have a nice, um, have a nice chomp, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. You can't beat a good piece of toast. Very, very heavily buttered, mind you. It has to be heavily buttered. Heavily buttered. I'm not one of those people that um, really 
lightly butters their toast. I don't understand those people that put half a scraping on their toast and call it toasted with butter, or toast with butter. It just doesn't work for me. Right. And, um, bacon. The classic. British bacon is, um, somewhat different to American bacon. It's, uh, a lot thicker. Personally, I do, in certain occasions, prefer the, um, the American bacon, but that's, um, probably sacrilege, and a lot of Brits will not appreciate that. I do prefer American bacon. My, um, my time over there, there was a, there was bacon to be enjoyed, and I did like a lot of it. Hmm. Yep. 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 And an important thing I have to mention as well: the quintessential British sausage. The American folks seem to have really quite thin breakfast sausages, I have noticed. My, um, my partner can't wrap her head around the fact that we have these really big, chunky sausages at times. She has mentioned it, that our sausages are just too, too big and chunky, and our bacon is also quite big and chunky. You can't get anything better, for me at least, than a British sausage, although some of the, um, some of the American sausage links can be quite nice. Genuinely quite nice, actually. So, let's have a quick bite of this. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Good wholesome pig meat. Very nice. Have a bit of toast with that bad boy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, the English breakfast. A strange phenomenon to some, a classic to others. I end up being one of those people who falls in the middle of this category. So, slightly different. To our fast food videos, I will admit. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera. But if you want to see a few more odd things or British foodstuffs, let me know. I could bring you something called a Scotch egg if you so wish it. That is a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage meat and then lightly pan fried with breadcrumbs. The good stuff. So, yeah. So those of you who did enjoy this little oddity, I'm trying to get to my fried egg here, but it's just uh, not cooperating, and it's also covered in tomato sauce and beans. So those of you who did enjoy this, do be sure to let me know. Come here, egg. You will not escape me. I said to come here, egg. Very nice. Yeah. If you enjoy this, let me know. More food stuff coming soon. And if by some strange miracle, um, Ren has watched this video, none of us know why it's a thing, Ren. We just... It just is. It exists. And a lot of us eat it. And more people than not, at least in my own circle, aren't too keen on it. I'm quite happy with it, though. So, yeah. This is where we'll leave it. And I'll see you in the next one. So guys, I have been Silver, your host, joined by Luna the Labrador, who <laughs> keeps telling me she wants to eat my dinner. Rudeness, rudeness. Now she's giving me paws because she wants to have some of my dinner. She keeps throwing paws at me. But yes, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night. And I will see you again very soon. Excitable Labrador. Take care, guys. Come here, monster. Come here. <laughs>